The reason the Soleimani hit was important isn't just that he was the head of uh, the Quds Brigade, which operates outside Iran and has been the main orchestrator of proxies. Uh, the reason I think it was important is he has a very unusual place in the minds of many Iranians. He has an absolute unique relationship with Khamenei. I don't think in the 40 years I have watched Khamenei, I have ever seen him respond to anyone, uh, contact, have physical contacts with anyone, trust anyone as much as he trusted uh, Soleimani. He was clearly being created by the regime. There was a propaganda, very calculated propaganda campaign to make of him a rather unique character. They talked about him as a Napoleon. They talked about him as a poet. They talked about him as a mystic. They talked about him as the son of the leader. So they had created from him a kind of a iconic figure. Uh, and while the IRGC is despised in the minds of the majority of Iranians for being the tools of suppression, most of what uh, Soleimani had been doing had been outside. Had been outside <coughs> Iran fighting ISIS, had been outside Iran uh, fighting Saddam Hussein in 1980 to 88. So he had a different cachet in terms of the Iranian uh, position and the Iranian psyche. Uh, when the hit came, the Iranian regime went into full 24-hour uh, campaign to make this into a major event. The country was shut down for three days. Iranian television and radio was constantly uh, talking about him, showing films that attracted, appealed to emotion. They talked about him not simply for the few days as a pious soldier, they talked about him as a national hero. They played for the first time in maybe 15 years an iconic s song that is a secular, the virtual secular song of Iran. It's to most Iranians the equivalent of a Marseillaise. Uh, 